If you are working with maintenance department, you must be maintaining the records of issues or just say complaints. And to maintain the records, Excel is the best tool. In today's video, we will see how we can create a fully dynamic maintenance tracker in Excel. Hi, my name is Vijay and you are watching Office Mom. Let's start the video without any delays. This is a complaint or maintenance log sheet which I have created in Google Sheets. Before creating the new format, let's see how it works. In the very beginning, we will have to put our issues or complaints over here. After that, accountable person. Name of the accountable person will be managed through drop downs. And once we will select the name of the person, department will be visible automatically. Store codes. It will also be managed through drop downs. Complaint number. We will have to insert it manually. After that, priority. Again, it will be managed through drop downs. When we come to right hand side, over here we have got information date and completion date. Pending from days, time taken in completion, and status. It will be fully automated. Let me put some information date over here. Currently pending and time taken is blank. Again, the status is also blank. I'll put a random date over here. I'll hit enter. So pending from days got 125. It's counting from today's date. Time taken in completion is blank and over here we can see pending. What will happen when we will insert completion date? Let's see. Just keep an eye on time taken in completion and status. I'll put today's date over here. Enter. Pending from days got shifted to time taken in completion and status got done. Over here we have got space for comments which you will have to insert manually. To create this sheet, we will need some data which I have kept in my setting sheet. Store codes, name of maintenance person and department. Let's start creating a new sheet now. I'll go to my Google Drive and over here we get the option of new. I'll click over here. Google Sheets. I'll delete this. We'll select the whole sheet. We'll right click the mouse. Insert 26 columns right. I'll come to left. We'll select the whole sheet once again. We'll right click the mouse. Insert 52 columns right. We'll come to left. We'll select the sheet once again. Right click the mouse. Insert 104 or 104 columns right. We'll come to left. So we have got enough columns to create our format now. I'll click on B4. We'll take column number A a little bit closer. This will be serial number. Issues or complaints. We'll adjust the column size, accountable person, department, store code, complaint number, priority, information date, completion date. We'll come to right hand side. We'll adjust the column size, pending from days, time taken in completion, status, comments. We'll come to left hand side. We'll select row number four and we'll take all the things in center. We'll select the whole sheet and we'll take all the things in mid. Now I'll select all the heads and we'll put some color. We'll change the font color. We'll select the whole sheet and we'll change the font style. We'll come to left. We'll click on B2 and we'll select C and we'll merge together. This will be department. We'll select D and E and we'll merge together. I'll put name of department over here. We'll select both and we'll take all the things in center. We'll put some color over here. We'll change the font color. We'll increase the font size. We'll create borders. We'll take row number three closer. We'll increase size of row number four. We'll increase the font size. We'll select all the heads. And we'll select few rows down and we'll create borders. We'll come to left. We'll select this and we'll merge together. We'll put some color over here. We'll change the font color. This will be complaint or maintenance log. Enter. We'll take this in center. We'll increase the font size. We'll go to view, show and we'll remove the grid lines. We'll adjust the column size. Name of this sheet will be log sheet. We'll insert one more sheet and this will be settings. We'll delete this. We'll click on setting sheet and we'll drag this to left. We'll take column A closer. This will be store codes. Maintenance team name. We'll adjust the column size and this will be department. Enter. We'll select all three and we'll take all the things in center. We'll put some color over here. We'll change the font color. 
store code i'll put some random codes enter we'll drag this down maintain a team name i'll put some random names we'll drag this down we'll select all three and we'll create borders department i'll put name of few departments we'll go to view show and we'll remove the grid lines perfect now i'll go to my log sheet serial number i'll insert it manually we'll select both and we'll drag it down we'll take this in center issues or complaints i'll put some random issues accountable person i'll click on top and we'll select till bottom we'll go to data data validation i'll come to right and we'll click on add rule over here we get the option of criteria and we can see drop down i'll click on the drop down and we'll select drop down from a range now i'll click over here we'll go to my setting sheet now i'll click over here once again and we'll select name of all the team or name of all the people and we'll do okay over here we can see name of all the people as a drop down now i'll be going to advanced options we'll come down display styles of drop down chip arrow or plain text we will keep it as plain text and we'll click on done we'll close this we'll come to my log sheet we can't see name of accountable person neither can we see the drop downs but when we will double click over here name of all the people will be visible i'll select monk 2 if i'll click over here also means double click the mouse i'll get all the names perfect department for department we are not going to create drop downs we will make it automated or dynamic i'll adjust the column size we will be using vlookup over here and the formula will be plus or equal to vlookup in case you want to use xlookup you can i'll select this means vlookup bracket open in vlookup we will have to provide lookup value so name of the accountable person will be our lookup value comma table ra so we will be going to our setting sheet for table ra we'll select our data from top we'll press function f4 and the cells will be logged comma column index number or column number so our vlookup is starting from c and d means column number c will be 1 and column number d will be 2 so we will put 2 over here comma 0 for exact match we'll close the bracket but before hitting enter we will go in the beginning of our formula bar and we'll insert the criteria of if error if error bracket open we'll come to the end comma double inverted comma twice for blank we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter so we got freezer over here when i change name of the person i got electrical means this formula is working perfectly i'll undo this now i'll drag it down perfect store code for store code we will be creating the drop downs i'll select this we'll go to data data validation i'll click on add rule this is the first rule what we had inserted earlier for name of the person now we will have to click over here criteria we'll click on the drop down and we'll select drop down from a range we'll click over here we'll go to my setting sheet we will have to click over here once again and we'll select store codes in case you want to select from top you can let's select from top and do okay so over here store codes is also visible in case you want to put some color you can and we'll click on done now i'll close this we'll come to my log sheet drop down of store codes got created i'll click over here and we'll select some store codes perfect complaint number entry of complaint number will be done manually we'll select this and we'll put some light gray color to identify where we have to do the entry manually we'll highlight this also we'll come to right priority for priority we will have to create drop downs so we'll select this we'll go to data data validation add rule this time we are not going to change anything in criteria we will delete option and over here we will type urgent we'll delete this hi add another item medium add another item low whatever priority you want to insert you can now we will put some colors and we'll do done we'll close this 
So drop down for priority is got created. Perfect. Information date and completion date we will have to insert manually. So we'll select both and we'll change the color as light gray. We'll come to right. I'll insert few random dates over here. Enter. Over here we have got dates, but I also want days. So I'll select both and we'll select till end. We'll take all the things in center. We'll go to format, number. We'll come down and we'll come to custom date and time. We'll come down and we'll select this one or let's select with year. Before applying this, we will come over here. Year, we will click on the drop down and we'll select two digit year. Month, month has abbreviation, August. Day, day as abbreviation, Tuesday, T-U-E. And we'll click on apply. So now we can see Monday, Jan 1, 24. Now it's time to insert formulas. We'll make this column bigger. We'll click over here, pending from days. We'll make column size little bit bigger. The formula will be plus or equal to if bracket open completion date is greater than zero comma if completion date will be greater than zero then we want blank over here so i'll put double inverted comma twice for blank comma if bracket open information date is equal to zero comma double inverted comma twice for blank comma today bracket open bracket close minus information date we'll close the bracket we will have to close the bracket twice and we'll hit enter so currently this is blank i'll delete completion date from here and we can see 125 days means it's counting from today's date we'll take this in center what will happen if i'll delete information date it's blank i'll undo this we'll click over here we'll go to formula bar and we'll insert the criteria of if error bracket open we'll come to the end comma double inverted comma twice for blank we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter now i'll drag this down perfect we'll insert some date over here we'll select this and we'll take all the things in center time taken in completion the formula will be plus or equal to if bracket open j5 means completion date is equal to zero comma if it will be zero, we want blank, comma. If it will not be zero, then what we want? We want completion date minus information date. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So we got 32 days over here. Now we will drag this down. These cells are blank because we haven't inserted completion date over here or we haven't inserted completion date yet. Currently, we can see 124 days. Let me put today's date over here. Just keep an eye on this figure. As soon as I'll hit enter, the figure of 124 will shift to time taken in completion. Enter. Just check. This got blank and the figure got shifted over here. Perfect. Status. Before putting our formula, let's select this and take all the things in center. Let's go to format. Conditional formatting. Format rules. I'll click on drop down. We'll go down and we'll select is equal to and over here i'll type done we'll select color from here for done i'll use green color and font will be white we'll click on done add another rule we'll click over here on the drop down we'll go down is equal to i'll put pending we'll change the color color of pending will be red and font color will be white we'll click on done now i'll close this so we use the conditional formatting. Now we will insert our formula and the formula will be plus or equal to if bracket open pending from days is equal to blank. If this will be blank, what we want in return, we want done. So I'll put comma, double inverted comma, done, double inverted comma, close, comma, if bracket open time taken in completion is blank is equal to double inverted comma means blank if this will be blank what we want comma we want to feature pending so i'll put double inverted comma pending double inverted comma close bracket close and i'll hit enter suggested autofill no we don't want suggested autofill so i'll close this now we can drag this down but before dragging this down 
we will put criteria of if. I'll go to formula bar. If bracket open information date is equal to blank for blank I'll put double inverted comma twice comma. If it will be blank, we want blank in return. So I'll put double inverted comma twice once again. Comma will come to the end. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Now we can drag this down. So if there is no completion date, it's showing pending. Let's put some completion date over here. And the status which was pending got changed to done. We'll select this and we'll put some color. We'll come to left. We'll select all and we'll create outside border. Perfect. So our format is ready now. I'll provide link of this file in description box. In case you want to download, you can. I'm sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic. Till then, bye-bye.